Guys. It worked. This girl made some good food. It's real good. At our last Walmart grocery pickup, they gave us some free stuff, including this little bowl of oatmeal. And so Peter's giving it a try. It overflowed in the microwave, so no different than a normal little bowl of oatmeal. It tastes good though. Woot woot. Totally normal. Normal, normal things happening here. Totally average, normal family. This is totally normal. Nothing to see here, folks. You're a silly cat. Nothing to see here. A couple of days ago, Mary bottled some cucumbers and made pickles. Spicy pickles for, for me. And yeah. I also made one without spicy. Oh, really? So I'm going to taste that. Nice. So we're going to try these. Okay, I have a guess. I guess that my pickles aren't sweet enough for my liking. I like bread and butter pickles. Okay. They taste like nothing. Mm. I'm going to dump a bunch of sugar in here, shake it up, and eat it in a few days. Awesome. That's what I'm gonna they're, do. They're, they're good. Are yours good? Yeah. I, I Maybe add some sugar or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'll add sugar. Okay, cool. Sugar will make it better. Nice. I didn't like look up a recipe. Oh, no! That's the coffee, not the sugar. <laughs> oh. Guys, winner, winner, chicken dinner, apple pie kombucha. You put the crust and everything in there, and apple pie, I'm just kidding. It's apple cider and apple pie spices. Mmm. So good. Okay. Sugar. And don't forget to reuse your jars. All right. Let's let those brew another couple days. Okay. Brew is not the right word. I've had such a fun afternoon. I cleaned the kitchen and I didn't do like a perfectionist job. I did a quick job. So I used some antibacterial wipes, cleaned the counters, cleaned the top of the stove, but you know how the top of the stove, like you could spend a good 20 minutes cleaning that and it would still have some crusty bits because we have a glass top. So if the water boils over, even if it's just water, it gets kind of funky up on the top. So I did not spend the time to scrub it. I wiped it. So I got the crumbs off and the sticky stuff off. And then I wiped this off and I just like, wiped it really fast, I put away all the dishes, I reloaded the dishwasher and started it, and then called it good enough. Like there's still dishes in the sink that I need to do, but it was like, I had other things that I wanted to do and get done and that I needed to get done. So then I ran upstairs and I was sewing. I have a sewing project that I actually am so excited to show you guys. Um, and what else? Well, then I had to sit down for a bit because Harry needed snugs. I mean, I'm literally standing there sewing and he's like, meow, 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 meow. So I go in on the guest bed and I sit on the guest bed for a while and snuggled Harry and Ollie was up there too. Um, I came down and I've been working on my, finalizing my cacti for today. And I feel like there was something else. But anyway, I've just been kind of like running around. I learned how to refill my bobbin thread for my sewing machine. I know I've done it before, but I haven't sewn in a long time. I mean, just a tiny bit here and there. And so I FaceTimed my mom and she walked me through how to do it. And at one point she was like, 
and then you'll take the thread and go over to the left. And I kept going to this one area, like the wrong place. And so finally I did get it figured out. Thank you mom for helping me re-bobbin my thread, re-thread my bobbin. And I was even able to get it, it's so funny, I think it was like muscle memory, because if you asked me to, to type out how to re-thread the sewing machine from the bobbin and from the upper one too, I would be like, I can't, I don't know. But it was like muscle memory, I just did it. whoop de doo and up and around and through the needle and that was that. So, I was feeling pretty accomplished about that anyway. So yeah, sewing, oh, and then I come downstairs and sometimes with my local prescriptions, like some of my prescriptions come mail order and some we pick up monthly and some we pick up every three months. And I had just run out of Prilosec, which I'm on every day. And we had three, four prescriptions at CVS that were ready to be picked up. But instead of driving over there, Peter asked, you know, like on the app, you can ask it to ship it to you. So I came downstairs and those were all, they all arrived. These four are Omeprazole, Mephitin, which is a really, my understanding is it's a really intense vitamin K. So it's not, it's like a prescription vitamin K and vitamin K, I've been on it for as long as I can remember. I don't know, maybe 15 years. And it's a prescription, like I said, and oh, it's for my liver. Um, it helps with clotting factors, I believe. And then ferrous sulfate, iron, which is iron. Um, I've been on that for a couple of years. And on Danzatron Zofran, which we used to call Odanistrophan. Odanistrophan. Hey. On Danzatron is how you actually say it, but that's boring. Polly, do you have anything to say? Good night. I mean, we're not actually saying good night, but he's saying good night. I'm saying time to cactus. I'm going to try to make something. Let's see how it works. Rice is ready. I guess I probably should have taken the time to line them up so they would be cut correctly instead of it looking like somebody just chewed on them. Oh well, they'll still taste the same. Okay, yeah. Whoops. Okay. Let us eat. Guys. It worked. This girl made some good food. It's real good. Do you know what this dinner reminds me of? P.F. Chang's. Well. That too, but it reminds me of a Fry Life video. Really? Do you know which one? No. It's the Fry Life video with the most views on YouTube. Feeding tube button? Changing your feeding tube button. At the end of that video, we ate Korean beef. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I, I don't know why I remember that, but yeah, as I started eating it, I remembered, oh, we made this in that feeding tube video. That's how, that's how we um, mark things in our lives, which video it was. It wasn't what day that happened, it was what video that's in. That's funny. We thoroughly enjoyed that, so I'm going to tell my, my future self, uh, Harry? <laughs> did 
do you need some assistance? Uh, oh my no, goodness. I'm just going to perch on top of your chair. <laughs> okay, I'm telling my future self how I made that. I okay. did about a quarter cup of brown sugar. Uh -huh. Okay, wait, let me start over. <laughs> Put the ground beef. We had a, the rest of a pound of ground beef, so probably a half pound. Yeah. Um, put the... <sighs> this so is, first you put the beef. This is getting a little bit difficult. I think I need a cookie. <laughs> um, avocado oil in the pan. Okay. Freshly grated ginger. Ooh. Fresh garlic in the mm -hmm. pan. Yeah. Ground beef in the pan. Brown the ground beef get most of the fat out of the pan, and then add this sauce. About a quarter cup of brown sugar. <laughs> um, soy sauce? Soy sauce, which was mm, half, okay, about two, wait, what? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Probably more than that. Half of a quarter cup. An eighth of a cup, which is probably two tablespoons. Uh, no. no. Anyway, uh, half of a quarter cup. Um, basically, I'm saying that because I was using the quarter cup thing and I did half of it. Got it. And then I saw that they wanted me to use sesame oil. Okay. We don't have that. So I used dashi instead. Dashi soup base. That's great. Huh. Um, I did more than I intended, but it tasted amazing. So yeah. I would say that was a tablespoon. Does dashi have sesame more. oil in it? I don't know. Cause it like, I thought I tasted sesame oil. I don't know. But uh, um, it worked out. So the dashi, the brown sugar, the soy sauce, and uh, it said sriracha, the recipe that I was like looking at, but we didn't have that, we had tapatio. So I did a splash of tapatio, probably like not even a teaspoon of it. And then stir that up, and then once the ground beef is cooked and you take the fat out of the pan, add that sauce in and let it kind of simmer and thicken up a little bit. And yeah, it was really good. So I think that might be a hit. We'll see if it gives us a stomach ache, and then if it doesn't give us a stomach ache, then it might be on the rotation. On the rotation. You made the rotation. But um, we have a Zoom call in a little while, our small group, and so that's where we're gonna be, as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night, Alley boy. Hold on, don't leave yet. This is after dinner. And Harry and Peter are having some snugs while Peter's enjoying a cup of coffee. <laughs>